Hi friends, we are going to be learning about um, in inherited traits in our science textbook. The topic is life cycles and traits. We're on page 184 through 189. Okay, lesson one, inherited traits. Stem connection. Insulin is something the human body usually makes. It helps keep the right amount of sugar in a person's blood. The bodies of some people do not make enough insulin. Those people need to take insulin as a medicine. The insulin they take is made by bacteria. Although some bacteria causes illness, most are harmless or even helpful. All organisms, including bacteria, have coded instructions that help make offspring similar to parents. Scientists can change these instrument instructions through a process called genetic engineering. The process allows scientists to make bacteria that produce insulin. Infer. Can the offspring of the genetically engineered bacteria make insulin? I'm sorry, in, yeah, insulin. Explain your answer. Remember, we use the words that are in the question in our answer. Genetically engineered bacteria can make insulin. Parents pass on coded instructions that make their offspring similar. Okay, so if you notice, it says video on page 184, Discovery Education. So if you look on the video that I'm, I'm talking on right now, I'm going to go to my Discovery Education page. You have your own account, so you can bring up your own. I have assigned everyone this video. It says Investigating Heredity. Heredity. There's 10 minutes. So you go into your account and you there should be an assignment where you can click on the word assignment and it'll go it'll tell you to go here. There's three other videos I've assigned, so make sure you're in investigating heredity heredity. It's a great video to really understand genetics. Okay. On page 185, how do off offspring compare to their parents. Scientists look for patterns in the features of related organisms. What differences can you find in the footprints of animals and birds? Okay, in the material section, it says you're going to need the Animal Track Identification Guide PDF. And so, when you are um, and so when you are in my web page, let's go to my web page. Under animal tracks, let's see, under animal tracks, there's a PDF. I'm going to click on the animal tracks PDF, and it's going to come to animal tracks identification guide. And you can scroll through, there's a whole bunch of different animals. They're really cool to look at. And when you go outside to look either in the snow or in the mud, you might be able to identify some of these animals. Okay. For the purposes of our um, page 185 investigate lab, I've already put on a on your PDF that you should be looking at that has the textbook um, all kinds of different footprints. So let me keep reading on page 185 and then we'll scroll through the ones that I have put on this PDF. So we asked the question, what differences can you find in the footprints of animals and birds? Procedures use, use the materials to collect data on the footprints of different kinds of animals and birds. Look for patterns. Record your observation. Okay, so we have, we're going to look at birds and animals, and you will see that they're, the birds have three toes, and they're webbed, and they have talons. <coughs> That's like the claws. <clears throat> animals have four to five toes, padded foot, foot, feet, it should say feet, claws, or nails. 
analyze and interpret data. How were the footprints similar? How were they different? Use the data to support your answer. The footprints are the same shape and had the same number of toes. They were different because some were shorter than others and some were wider. So if you scroll down in your PDF, you'll see the first animal is a bobcat. It says Animal Track Identification Guide. The black and white sketches in this guide represent actual size tracks for an adult animal. So you see the bobcat has four toes and a pad. It also shows that the bobcat tracks in the snow. I know it's hard to see because it's in white snow. But bobcat tracks in snow, they kind of enhanced it. The next picture is a raccoon. And um, the raccoon has raccoon tracks in the snow. There's two different or three different pictures of raccoon tracks that are in the snow. Okay. And you can see they have five toes and a pad connecting the toe. Almost looks like a hand. The next animal is a large domestic dog. Domestic means they are like a house dog. And <clears throat> um, they, let's see, they, they have, how many paws do they have? Or toes. They have four toes and they have some claws, a little bit like fingernails and a pad. Then there's the duck that has the three, it looks like three fingers and, and it's webbed. And you can see it in the snow. The next one is the grouse. That's a type of bird. The grouse track you can see has three fingers and you can see it in the snow. And then there's the seagull, which also has three fingers and it's webbed. Okay. And then the last page is the small birds. And these, it's the crow and the junco, it says. They all have three toes and um, it actually looks like a kind of a back toe there. Okay. All right, back to page 186. Traits from parents. You can tell that puppies in the picture are in the same kind, that are in the same kind of dog. They have many features that are similar. For example, the fur is the same colors. Reading check, use text features. What other ways can you see in the photo that the puppies are alike? Remember, we use the words in the question in our answer. The puppies are alike because they are about the same size and have the same shaped ears and nose. The reason that puppies are so much alike is that they got their traits from their parents. A trait is a feature of an organism. A trait can be the way the body and the organism looks and works. It can also be the things the organism does. For example, some animals know how to walk and feed themselves as soon as they are born. These actions are inherited traits. To inherit something means that you got it from your parents or ancestors. Top of page 187, traits of parents and offspring. Offspring of the same parents have similar inherited traits. Offspring usually look a little like their mother and a little like their father, but they do not look exactly like e either parent. That is why the puppies have some differences. The differences in organisms from the same parent are called variation. Compare and contrast. The parents of the puppies are black and white, just as the puppies are. 
In what other ways are the puppies similar to their parents? How are they different? The puppies are similar to their parents by having the same body shape. They are different by having different patterns of black and white. And they're so cute. Question, question it. Suppose you found an animal that was very unusual collar. What are two questions you could ask to learn whether the trait could be inherited? Was the animal born with this collar? Were its parents the same color? Okay, top of page 188. Traits in similar plants. The plants in the photos do not come from the same parent plants. They are, though, the same kind of plant, pea plants. Their flowers and leaves have the same shape. Most pea plants have leaves and flowers with these same shapes. But the flowers of the two plants are different colors. Plants of the same kind of variations in the traits. Color is not the only way plants vary. The red and orange flowers are all the same kinds, yet some of the plants are taller than others. Plants of the same kind have other variations, such as, a, such as small differences in leaf shape and color. The number of thorns on the stem or how rough the tree's bark is. Making meaning. You are the same kind of organism as all the people around you. In your science notebook, tell how you are unique. List ways you are different from other people. So I put, I am unique because I am tall, I have freckles, and I have blue-gray eyes. So you wouldn't write that because you're not me. You have to tell me why you are unique. Top of page 189, traits in similar animals. One reason people like to collect shells is that shells come in many sizes, shapes, colors, and patterns. Some of the differences are because the shells are from different kinds of animals. The snail shell in this picture, though, are the same kinds of animal with white-lipped banded snail. Like plants, animals of the same kind have variations of their traits. Question connection. Suppose the shells in the photo t fell from the plant stem into some sand. Which shells would be easiest to see and why? The shells that would be easiest to see are purple because they are very different color from the sand. Lesson two, check, explain. Two black cats produce kittens and black fur. Why did the kittens have black fur? The kittens have black fur because they inherited the trait from their parents. Number two, identify. Give an example of how traits vary in a group of organisms of the same kind. Traits vary in a group of organisms of the same kind, like two related dogs might be different sizes. All right, friends, make sure you go to Discovery Ed and kiss your brain. Thanks. And number two question will be on the test on page 189.